The Holy Prophet وسلم, foretold of a Prophet, one which would be the second coming of Jesus Christ, a Mahdi, a reformer, who would revive Islam and lead it forward into a new era of success. The Holy Prophet وسلم, requested his companions to convey his salam to this reformer of the new age. He said, When you hear the advent of the Mahdi, then enter into his fold, even if you have to walk on snow by crawling and creeping to reach him. The role and sole purpose of this subordinate prophet was made clear. He would revive Islam, unite all its sects, and establish a caliphate which would strengthen Islam and lead it forward into a new age. I give you the glad tidings of Mahdi, who will be raised in my Ummah at a time of digression and distress of people. He will fill the earth with equity and justice as it is filled with oppression and violence. But how could this promised man recognize that he was the one? It could only be through a revelation from God, and this revelation was received by the noble and humble Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad in 1891 in a small town of Qadian to the east of Damascus. It is now the duty of every Muslim to come forward and accomplish the appeal of the Holy Prophet وسلم, to join in to the fold of this Prophet, Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad salam, the Reformer, the Mahdi, the Promised Messiah. I call to witness God Almighty who holds my life in His hand, that compared to every other soul, He has gifted me with overwhelmingly greater ability and access to the understanding and the deeper wisdom of the Holy Qur'an. If any of the Maulvis who oppose me, in response to my repeated invitations, had attempted to outshine me in the exposition of the Holy Qur'an, God would have most certainly frustrated His attempts and exposed His ignorance. Hence, the understanding of the Qur'an which has been granted me is a sign of Allah, the Glorious, and I have full trust in Allah's grace that soon the world will begin to see that I am true in this claim.